Welcome to Deprogram. Sandra Pupatello's hair has failed in its bid to become Premier of Ontario. This despite running on the breathtakingly original slogan, dot dot dot, for a change. While the campaign for the Liberal leadership may be over, Pupatello's hair's slogan still works perfectly with any fortune cookie. You will have a pleasant surprise soon, for a change. You will find much fulfillment with someone special very soon for a change. Upon learning of Pupatello's hair's loss, Tim Hudak announced he would scrap his campaign slogan, dot dot dot, cause wind farms suck. In British Columbia, Premier Christy Clark is slamming Ottawa over the decision to close a Coast Guard station in her riding. The federal government must find the funding to keep the Kits Coast Guard station open. In a separate video, Clark revealed why this is suddenly a priority. I will accept Richard Branson's kind invitation to come water skiing. Following Clark's announcement, a spokesperson from Kinder Morgan said, See, there are maritime disasters worse than tanker spills. The Canadians' idol movement continues to gain momentum. The return of NHL hockey to the CBC has attracted near record viewership. Meanwhile, embattled Attawapiska chief Teresa Spence has agreed to end her six-week-long hunger strike. She will head home to her beleaguered community after taking in the capital Sens game Tuesday night. And finally, in a stunning display of government transparency, the Joint Review Panel reviewing Enbridge's proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline has reopened its hearings in Kelowna to the public. Interested citizens will now be able to watch the proceedings via a live video feed of a live video feed of a man doing semaphore in a field several kilometers away. Next week on Deprogram, Rob Ford, blah blah blah, pipelines, blah blah, Rob Ford.